In this video I'm going to talk about using an ohmmeter for troubleshooting uh, vehicles but just generally troubleshooting in general. Um, what an ohmmeter does is actually puts current through a circuit to verify that you have continuity in the circuit so that uh, basically you don't have an open circuit. Um, I did a, another uh, video about reading voltage measurements so if you want to look at uh, if you're troubleshooting voltage stuff well you can look at that video so basically uh, this is going to be some somewhere along the lines of your standard digital multimeter you're going to have a black common lead that you're going to put down in here it's marked common so you put that in there then your red your positive lead is going to go into the volt ohms milliamp jack you can see that marked there. In the case of what we're doing here, reading uh, resistance in an electrical circuit is measured in ohms, and that's that little symbol right in the middle right there. kind of looks like a horseshoe. So anyway, that's telling you that uh, you're going to put your red lead, if you're measuring resistance or ohms, which we are into that jack on the meter. If we were measuring current, we'd put it over here. Um, one note about this, if you're measuring resistance on a circuit, always make sure there's no voltage on the circuit because what the multimeter is actually going to do is going to put a little bit of current out through the circuit. And if there's voltage on it, uh, you might fry the multimeter or you might actually uh, do some damage in the circuit. So I always take a voltage reading first. Um, and then I'll do my, when I verify that I have no voltage on the circuit, I'll do my resistance reading. So what you want to do is on this meter here, I don't want to get it too close to you, but enough, close enough you can see, um, you're going to be down in this range here. You see where it says 2000K, that's 2000 kilo ohms. So this whole, on this meter, this whole green scale here, is for measuring resistance. Uh, so if you have a really high resistance, you're going to want to put it up here on this 2,000 kilo ohms and read that. Um, if you're troubleshooting a vehicle, a lot of times if you have a manual or something and it tells you to, to take a resistance reading, it will give you an indication of what the reading was. So like say, for instance, if it said, well, it's going to be the circuit should read 100 ohms, then we want to be on a scale higher than 100 ohms but small enough that we can get an accurate reading so we would put it over here on the 200 scale here so that's where we're going to want to be um, now I'm just going to, uh, I'm, I'm in the process of troubleshooting a starter here, I'm thinking about rebuilding a starter that I've got so uh, I'll just uh, show you something there okay so here's my starter that I'm uh, going to be working on uh, I got my handy Daniel dandy manual there. Uh, according to the manual I should have continuity between this terminal here and this uh, connector here that goes to the starter. So I want to make, verify that my meter is working okay first and we see our screen go. Just gonna put that as again we're on the resistance scale here we're measuring ohms so we just short the two uh, leads of the uh, multimeter together like that and we see basically we're getting uh, zero resistance separate them and it goes to an open circuit so I take uh, one lead of my meter put it on that contact my other over here and we see that we're going to uh, dot seven of an ohm so <clears throat> that's going through a coil I believe it's a coil, I have to read that up on that, so uh, very little resistance there. So I wanted to just show you what I was talking about as far as your scales. I'm going to put this up on a high scale there. That's uh, the 20K scale on the ohmmeter right there. So we take a reading on a light bulb, for instance. This is a good light bulb, so we should be able to put the current from the meter through this bulb. 
and you see that we can and we're getting a dot zero two reading but we're on a very high scale here so if I take that down to say what's that 2000 ohms we should get a finer measurement put the connectors there so we're getting a 19 so 19 ohms which makes sense a light bulb has a very small resistance the idea is that the current goes through it and just heats up the element in the light right so now I put it to the finest scale that we got and now we get a 17.9 ohm resistance now my fingers are moving around here a little bit but when I keep them in good contact so that's a pretty fine measurement so and of course we take our leads apart and we have an open circuit always remember to take your put your meter to the off position when you're done because like I said before you don't want to leave it on particularly on that uh, ohm scale for meeting reading resistance because if you put that on a circuit with a voltage you're probably going to fry it anyway that's it for this video